Yeah, this is the, uh, I'm calling this the end of my proof of concept. It's certainly not done as a game piece yet, but uh, kind of a rhythm game or a way to score points by playing along with a melody uh, in the game. So this will be a sub quest. Uh, so if I go ahead and start the game, you've seen the, the guts of this and I've talked about this before, which is a pretty complicated set of kit to play MIDI files and then uh, visualize them. The, here we go. Uh, I'm in here and I got a couple of devices loaded already where you'd, you'd pick them up here in the item spawners, the Patchworks device and the uh, pistol. Now I'm going to start, and this is not how you'll actually start the game. I'll have some triggers in the game, but uh, so it's not going to be this hard in, as a sub quest. But basically what you have to do is I'm going to start a MIDI stream. And again, like I said, that'll be started automatically as a person walks in a room or something, wherever this is actually be held, probably in a, a room like a small little studio. You know, we'll, we'll decide later what, what kind of building this goes in. But you go ahead and you, the music will start. I'm going to start it manually here. Um, this is a new song sync device, patchwork device, that allows me to play mini, MIDI files. So I recorded in a MIDI file, just so you know. <laughs> I recorded, not recorded, but actually got a MIDI file and, and pared it down. And it's uh, the um, main part for the, the, the intro to the song Money by Pink Floyd. So you've heard it before. Here's it in the bass there. So that's got recorded. And uh, I went ahead and brought that in as a MIDI file into the game. And I'm going to play it now by... We will start it up. So that's playing inside of the game using all these patchwork devices and sending signals places and finally ending up here into a set of playing on my MIDI keyboard with red being the most current note being played and, and the white and the other black here is the notes that have been played. So, and it just repeats in a loop. So if I get a, uh, this is my, and if I aim and I try to press it when it's red, and I attempt it one time and I hit one time, so I can just, but let's say I miss or hit it, you know, let's say I've attempted three times and hit it two times. Four for two. I got an attempt. And so what it'll do is keep scoring, then there'll be some way to score at a certain point. I'll reward the player if they've scored either, uh, we'll have to decide what the best way to do that is, but they've either scored a certain amount of hits, or when they score those hits, they've, they've kept a certain percentage or whatever. They'll be rewarded with an actual beat block. Um, and quite possibly, I may tie this to the actual, uh, oh, I don't know, the, the, uh, I may tie it to the actual, uh, music. So instead of just playing a random MIDI thing, it may be actually playing the, the beat, uh, or the, the song, and they may be rewarded with that melody. You know what I'm saying? So it's maybe the lead pieces or the melody pieces, uh, might, might be, so uh, they would be, may, maybe we would get the, um, a beat block that played money, for example, or the bass part for money or whatever. So, I mean, that's just kind of the idea. That's the end of the proof of concept. I've written all the hard parts, so it would just be, um, you know, deciding how to put it into the game and, and then loading all the MIDI files and, and doing all that type of stuff. But the proof of concept is done.